Okay. All right, Joe. <laughs> Where were you raised? I was raised 20 miles north of Sedalia. And when I was a kid, we weren't allowed to hunt prairie chickens or quails. And then when I got married, I married a girl from Coal Camp. Her folks had the farm where I lived in North Coal Camp. And uh, I fell in love with the 40 acres and I had prairie chickens and quails. But I've never ate a quail chicken. I thought one time I was going to get one, but I never did. What's that? Prairie chicken. Okay. And and then my uncle, Uncle Ed at Missionary, lived in Patrick right Cheese Creek, and I used to go over there. I practically tried to live with them. So at one time there was a lot of prairie chickens around Cole Camp? Yes. And how often would you see them? I see them every day. Every day? Every day. I have them in my front yard. You had them in your front yard? Yes. So did you see them doing their booming and at the left? I didn't see them booming, but when I got up every morning, they boomed at daylight. I could sit there and hear them. All the way around. Did you like having the prairie chickens there? Yes. Why is that? I, I don't know. I just just love them and it's just my favorite, my hobby, I guess. So you'd watch them? Yes. What time would they, would they do their booming in the morning? Usually just before daylight. Mm -hmm. When the sun comes up. So apparently there haven't been too many prairie chickens, well there haven't been any prairie chickens around Coal Camp. There ain't been none around my place since 201. 2001? Yes. That's that's 19 years? Yes. What happened to them? I don't know. <coughs> I had prairie chickens and behind me, the conservation got Wilfred Kaiser to bulldoze that out. He told me for it's prairie chickens. I said, they're not helping the prairie chickens. And the last prairie chicken I had, it was uh, pretty close, right on there. I had one hen in my front yard and six little ones. And that's the last I've had. And then uh, Megan Slipper Sheet is a manager of conservation at the fish department and I bug her about prairie chickens and she always tells me to try to get them back but why do you think they disappeared from this area I think it's a hawk but now and I think another thing it's people don't hunt quails or uh, coon hunt possums they're hard on prairie chickens I don't know. Do you think that they have, they've lost their habitat? Yes. I mean, we, you've been in this area for a number of years, that's yes. correct. Do you remember more prairies? Because, I mean, most well, of the Well, we had prairies, but we had my prairie chickens was in fence rows, head rows, and I, another thing or two. I blame a lot on, on uh, the farmers spreading. I don't know the answer. If I did, I'd probably be with the conservation, but I don't know. What does the loss of the prairie chickens for this area mean? Do what? What is the loss of prairie chickens for this area? What does that mean to the people here? Well, I don't know other than Coal Camp is in a prairies and it's a prairie chicken. But now we had prairie chickens north of Sedalia, but we didn't have a lot of them. We had a lot of quails. I don't know. But 
I get a lot of compliments on them quail chickens on the back of my pickup, but in fact, I've had people stop and talk to me. Why do you got them on there? Well, I just like them. And I'm with the Missouri State Fair, Coal Camp Fair, and I've been to the fair to lose my truck. So I said, well, I can look for a prayer chair and get my truck. And then I had a wreck, and I didn't have no four prayer chickens, and I bugged Megan about to get me some decals, and she couldn't do it, so I found some and put them on the truck. Do you think that the prairie chickens are important to the culture of coal camp? Yes. Why? I don't know why. I just everybody in coal camp know what the prairie chicken is. I don't know why it is, but I remember Northwest Coal Camp. There was nothing to see forty birds in the whole field. But now my farm was prairie grass, and I plowed it up and put it in corn. But that didn't do nothing to get rid of prairie chickens. Because I had prairie chickens here. And I didn't plow the whole thing up. So you left part of it as prairie? Yeah. How much? I lost 40 acres. You left 40 acres as prairie? Yeah. What happened to that? Well, I plowed up and put in corn, and then I put the other, put alfalfa and hay, and I put cattle on it. But I had prairie grass in front. I was proud of that when the highway got in. So high, which highway? 65. Oh, 65. Highway. Mm -hmm. And they put a four lane down it. And, but that doesn't want to get rid of the prairie chickens. I think it's hawks, buzzards. Coons, um, we used to have world's jackrabbits here, we don't have them no more. Mm. You know what jackrabbit is? It's a big rabbit. Yes. But I am partial to prairie chicken. Why the prairie chicken in particular? I don't know. I just kind of like some people love to feed your birds and mind the prairie chickens. So now, are there other people in coal camp who are upset that there are no prairie chickens left in this area? Some of them, few of them are. We talk about it. You don't see the prairie chickens no more. And that's another thing, too. Same way as quails. I, I had a brush pile in my duke garden. I fed a high of 33 quails in that brush pile. They get the water off my patio one at a time. They roost their tail out, in, head out, in a circle. I've had friends want to come over and shoot them. I said, no, if you're out of my place, you walk them, but you ain't going to shoot them there. And right now I've got four or five cubbies. And boy, my boy tells me they're not big cubbies, but they're a few birds. Did people used to hunt prairie chickens around here? Yeah. No, we never did have Never did have no lot on prairie chickens. Mm. It was always close season on them. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know about in that 1900. So was your family? I know you're, you're from around Coal Camp, but you're not from you're not from Coal Camp. No. Where are you from originally? I'm Twenty miles north of Okay. So your is your family German? 
My dad was German. My mother was Irish. Now, did, did your father speak German? No. My great grandpa came from Germany in 18, 1835, and he was in bondage in Virginia for 10 years for his passage year. And then he came to north of Sedalia, and he settled on 640 acres. Mm. And that's my great grandpa, and my grandpa, and then my dad. All my uncles, aunts, they're all off of that farm. Now, what year were you born? 29. Okay. So you would have been maybe too young for World War II. I was, my dad, I was too young. In some way, I was too young. But I was first one called in the Korean War. But I'm blind in my right eye. Mm. But. I had to go anyway. Now, um, my dad was in World War One. Where is he stationed? He never got out of the city. Hmm. <clears throat> he was World War One, and he got to Sudan to get on the train. And the war was over. He said we celebrate. They never got. But my uncles was in World War One. 1916. Mm -hmm. But my dad was the youngest one. Mm. Okay. And how, how do I pronounce your last name? Cabler. Joe, Joe Cabler. Joe Cabler. Okay. Joseph Cabler. Joseph Cabler. Okay. Well, I, I just, you know, I just, I saw your truck with the prairie chicken bumper stickers on it, and I wanted to do some research on prairie chickens in this area just to learn about the importance of the prairie chicken to mm -hmm. the people here. Because I didn't know if people cared about the prairie chicken around here or if maybe people were um, upset that they had disappeared from the area. Well, I, a lot of the farmers is gone now. They're kind of upset they ain't got no quiver here. But now they talk about we used to have them, but we don't have them no more. I don't know the answer. I bugged in conservation about it. E. Eichhoff is another one. He's dead now. And he fought conservations. He blamed them, a lot of it on the prairie chickens, <clears throat> on their burning. Now, he claims that they should burn from the inside out, but they burn from the inside in. But I don't know if that's... He had a fallen out with them. And I think now, some of his ground might come under conservation. He, he's got north of coke mm -hmm. And my boy told me the other day that there's a sign there, but they haven't, I don't know what they're going to do. Have you ever been to High Lonesome? No, I haven't. I, I've been by there, and I know some people there, and I've been around High Lonesome, and I go by there to go to my place. And I got a, well, it's my nephew's son, Ryan. He's a bird watcher, and he goes out there and watches birds. Okay. But he hasn't seen any prairie chickens? No. Ryan Steppens. Okay, yeah, I got his number. Yeah. That's your nephew? Well... His dad, my nephew. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think that's. Um, those are all the prairie chicken questions I have for you. I well, mean, I, it's my. It's my pet. I never did eat one. 
I got a cousin did, Claude Cabrera. He says it's all dark meat. You wouldn't shoot one, would you? One time I would, but they were smarter than I was. I didn't get to it. Mm -hmm. But right now I wouldn't shoot one. Why is that? I don't know. I just, I just don't believe I'd shoot one. Do you have hope that one day there will be prairie chickens in Missouri again? Yes. I'm 92 years old, will be. I don't think I'll see it, but my grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Do you think it's important that that bird is around for them? Yes. I don't know, I mean, I don't know why I pick a prairie chicken. Same way as a quail, but I guess when I was a boy, we wasn't allowed to shoot them. We could hunt rabbits, squirrels, but the quail was a father's friend. Prairie chicken was too. That's the same way as pheasants. I love pheasants, and I had neighbors that raised pheasants, but I've never seen one wild. Well, I don't think pheasants are native to Missouri. Well, they got them in Kansas. Mm. They got them in Iowa. I don't know why in Missouri. I don't know. Okay, well, I appreciate you sharing your well, opinions and thoughts on prairie chickens. I, I feel bad they're not around for you anymore. I love them. I mean, my wife and I sat on the front porch five o'clock in the morning to hear them booming. And I mowed hay and they scoot over as I'm going around. But You said you're from Stover? Well, my dad's from Versailles. Versailles. But I'm from Kansas City. Okay. But we we bought the mine farm. Yeah. And that's right next to Paintbrush Prairie. I don't know if you've ever been up there. Or seen? Have you seen Paintbrush Prairie? Yeah. Okay. So we have a bunch of remnant prairie on, on the mine farm. Mm -hmm. And we're working to restore that. So I wanted to learn about prairie chickens because I'm hoping that maybe if we improve that area and get rid of some of the trees, then maybe we could reintroduce them. But I, I don't know. I think it's quite difficult. Well, I wish you luck. If, if we do, I'll let you know. Well, I appreciate it very much. All right. I do, I do love prairie chickens. And I don't know why other than... It's my pet. And especially the little roosters. Mm -hmm. It's a wild animal. Yeah. And um, they're not around anymore. So I think that, that probably means we did something wrong as humans. I don't know. Well, a lot of people blame the conservation. But I don't think it's all their fault. Of course, I know got hawks. Well, the hawks have always been around. I mean, wouldn't it be from habitat loss? I mean, when people plow up the prairies, where are the prairie chickens well, supposed to go? You're not allowed to shoot a hawk. Mm -hmm. And I know when I bailed hay, they followed my moors. Mm -hmm. But what about from people plowing up the prairies? If if you look on a map and you look up, if you look at a map of around Coal Camp, there aren't any prairies left. No. It's all corn, it's all row crops or hay row fields. Row crop. Yeah. So I mean, I guess the question is where where are the prairie chickens supposed to go? Well. When there's no prairie. I don't think row crop 
is what got rid of the fur chickens. I don't know. Hmm. But your fur chicken needs your grass. Did you worry about what your haying would do to the prairie chickens? Do what? When you hayed, did you worry about what the haying would do to the prairie chickens? No. Mm -hmm. I baled hay and had oats. And oats had prairie chickens in it, but that didn't bother them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I do bug conservation by prairie chickens. But you still bug them? Yeah, Megan does. <laughs> and she's... And she always tells me, well, you know, you got you got rabbits, squirrels, that all works against prairie chickens. I don't know if it does or not. Hmm. Why would rabbits and squirrels work against Well, them? I don't know. I do blame the, the coons and the possums and mm -hmm. the hawks. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, hopefully... I'm sorry I can't give you more. No, I think, what you, I think you gave me some great answers. Yeah, I, just, and I just wanted to hear about the history of the bird in this area. It sounds like there was a, there was a lot of them back in the day. Well... I wish E.L. Eichhoff was still living, because him and I was... Was he a farmer? Yes. But he was kind of a city farmer. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of ground. His great-grandpa had the farm, and E.L. Eichhoff, and he's just well-known, and he always bubbed the conservation on the fur chickens, and the burning and... Did you know Edna Mine? I know it of him. The, it was a woman, Edna, Edna Mine. Yeah. She lived at the, the mine, that farm out there. You, you knew her? I just know her name. Okay. Why do you think they never plowed up their prairie? Hmm? Why do you think they never plowed their prairie? Well, for you to got prairie grass, it takes a hundred years to get it. And if you plow it up, it takes a hundred years to get it back. And there's over a hundred different kinds of grass in the prairie grass. It's just like the painted brush, Indian paint brush. You can't take it and put it in the yard and raise it. It's got to be in the prairie grass. You know what Indian paint brush is? Yep, it's a red flower. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, I've had it in my front yard, and I've talked to Megan about it, and she told me that you can't raise it. She tried it, and I heard the E.L. I call. Got a piece of ground somewhere down here, and he combines that with the conservation, but he, I've never seen it, so I don't know. Do people take that into consideration before they plow up their prairies? I don't think they do. I don't know. It used to be, you know, back when I was a kid, you didn't plow up everything. And now, everything's no tilled, Spray. I got a friend of mine who farms of 800 and some acres just on corn. Why is that? Why did that change? You, you said when you were a kid you didn't plow up everything, but now they do. What's the difference? I think it's money wise. They get a big allotment from this, the government. And now it's corn and beans. Back when I was a kid, you had 10 acres of corn, 10 acres of beans, and the rest of it in the grass. 
the same way as corn, and same way as pasture, and we rotate. Now, you just go from corn to beans. One time is my load. So people used to leave some prairie? Yes. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Around Coke Camp is always a lot of prairie, but it's about all gone. Well, that might be why the prairie chickens are gone. <clears throat> well, it could be. I don't know. So farming has changed a lot? Yes. You think it's gotten better? I think it's worse. Why? Well, I think they don't have no love for the ground. The same way as their sprays, no tail. They destroy all the worms. You gotta have fish worms. And my boy told me the other day, see, he ain't done no farming for several years. He can see a wolf fridge worm now and then. Well, I don't know the answer. I blame it on the sprays. No till. I don't know. What does no till mean? You. Come in here and spray my, just like my yard. Mm -hmm. Spray my yard. Come in there and plant the corn. And then you spray that. It's never been turned over. Mm. Never been cultivated. Okay. So if my dad could see farmer today, he'd turn over his grave. Could he plow the ground, he plant the corn, cultivate it? You don't do that no more. You just pour in machinery, you spray it, and then plant it. Hmm. I think the chemicals has a lot to do with it. You didn't use chemicals back then? No. No. Mm. I remember one time I was just a kid, we had corn and they had chinch bugs getting in his corn. My dad plowed fur around the corn. And he drug a log. Them chinch bugs got in that dust and couldn't get out. Well that's you wouldn't do that today. This is like Brian Van Houten. He farms 1,600 acres. I visit with him. He said, Joe, if I had to farm the way my dad and your dad did, I'd never do it. But he got 800 acres of corn, beans, He's got the big silo. Mm. Green Ben, I do You. He's a young man. He's a op he's a boot. He's a machine operator. He's not lazy. But if he can't get it with a tractor, that's it. I still love my prairie chickens, so <clears throat> Well, I hope you get to see another one someday. Well, why I fell in love with them, I don't know. I guess. Listen to them, watch them. You had respect for them. Well, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> same way as a quail. There ain't nothing any better than eating a quail. And I have quail on, but I never, uh, never hunt a lot of them. And we had a man who used to have a restaurant. And he asked me if he could hunt after all me. And I said, yeah. If it was a quail alive, he got it. And then I told him he couldn't hunt no more. <laughs> but he hunted quails. I mean, I don't think that's the reason we don't have prairie chickens. <clears throat> I think it's a lot of it is the way we farm, chemicals. Yeah, that's interesting what you said about how back when you were young, people didn't plow everything up. They left a little bit of prairie. Yes. And nowadays it's all just row crops. Now if it ain't got a brush on it, they tilt it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, yeah. Now you go out here on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's <coughs> on the other side of Moore. Mm -hmm. There's a big patch of prairie grass there. Mm. There's chicken houses. And my friend of mine they bales it. But they don't they do fertilize it. That's the only prairie grass around here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. I appreciate you talking to me about prairie chickens today. Well, it's not every not every day you find someone that wants to talk about prairie chickens. I love them. <laughs>